heart is about sacrifice. Ah, oh. oh, it's raining. Welcome back, everybody, right. to episode 69 of Let's Play Skyrim Modded The Adventures of Jofna Aronson. Hey. Greetings, traveler. Do you come to watch the dance of bones, to pay homage, or to learn the craft? Uh. Oh, hang on, I'm willing to learn, but I'm not exactly sure what you're teaching. <laughs> Alright, no. Um. Oh, I come to the news. I come to do no such thing, I just miss you, merely wish to talk. It's not I who you should be conversing with. Look upon this piece, and it will speak to you. Oh god. Oh by the divines, I got a loopy that knows where I live. <coughs> She's moved into me tent. Um what exactly is going on here? What you see before you is art in its purest form, unbound by the conventions of society, free to show the naked truth. You said this was a dance of bones, can you really make them dance? Yes. But as we mortals are given the choice, so too are they. They will not dance at your beck and call, nor will they fight you if you draw your weapon. Where'd you learn to conjure? I trained at the College of Winterhold, uh -huh. where necromancy is legal and accepted, but only for research and study. My views regarding the artistic potential of the undead were not particularly embraced. From the college. Then, it does not matter. The parting was mutual. The same is true for the spell sword Coven I studied with. I have no interest in using the dead as a weapon. If we truly wish to understand the nature of our existence, we must bring death to life and life to death, so the two may define the void between. Anything you miss about the college? Only the presence of my colleagues. So many brilliant minds. Each a treasure trove of the profound. Some would challenge your mind with hypotheticals. Questions that had no answer. Give me an example of a hypothetical. Very well. Consider the following. In your travels, you come across a man living in an abandoned house. There is evidence that he is a deplorable man, a murderer, a rapist, a thief. However, he is also a brilliant alchemist. He is on the verge of a breakthrough potion that will cure any disease. This is important, as a new plague is spreading across the land. However, to sell the potion, he will become very powerful and very rich. Many will suffer at his hand. Hey, you're gone. Thing, thing. Oh. Hello, are you our neighbour? 
Uh, I'd like to hear another hypothetical. It is my pleasure. Imagine, for an instant, you wake up one morning to find everything you eat has amplified in taste. Yet your nose detects something noxious. The food smells rotten. And moreover, it appears as bad as it smells. However, in your mouth it remains a model of perfection. A week passes by. Do you consider dying to be a pleasurable experience? Oh, don't you think we should get out of the rain? Um, do travelers take issue with your display? Appreciation takes many forms. The most spiteful criticism is usually reserved for the most thought-provoking of art. So I take the criticism as a compliment. You're a necromancer? I will forgive your crude mistake. After all, many fail to see the beauty in that which is soiled. I do not practice the art of necromancy. I practice necromantic art. <laughs> the distinction is rather important. I mean necromantic art. I use the tools of conjuration to make art pieces that reflect the human condition. The struggles of man, his joy, his sadness, his frailty. His clothes are stripped, his bones bared for all to see. Yet even an artist cannot fully understand a work through a single set of eyes. Tell me, traveler, how does this piece make you feel? These gardens were once people with lives and families. Yes, that is precisely why it is so provocative. To you, I am desecrating these bodies, using people as props. But ask yourself this, if a man loses a tooth or a limb, is he still not a man? Where does the body end and the man begin? Okay, no such you leave things. your faith in the divines, while others quest for knowledge. You hope they will not judge you for your ignorance. Duh. Is it a virtue to be ignorant of oneself? How is such a man any different than an empty husk? Oh well. See you later. My art may anger you, yet that may very well be its intent. I think my next project will be a conjured skeleton made from the bones of twenty different men. The artistic value in that would be indescribable. I like it. I don't use my bones. Hey, what are you doing out here? You're getting in a we monster chest, out? but are you? Well, I've got all your equipment cleaned and ready. Alright. Uh, okay. Trolls are strong and powerful, but terribly slow. And you can't damage what you can't hit. Alright, I'll put those empty... I'll turn that lamp off. Put those empty bottles in here.
Hey, H.A. Today's Friday, let's just, um... Actually, it's your payday, Friday the 13th. Yes, we are. Okay, I'm gonna pay you, right? Yes. Friday the 13th, let's, we can't work today. We'll, let's go to Oakwood. Sell the meat and get drunk. Right. Let's trade. That's what you said, right? You wanted to trade? Uh, well, a bit more than that. Uh, hundred and five. Can only give him my hundred and fifty. That's what he's supposed to get paid. We haven't done any adventuring. All we've done is. Um, Work. There you go. You really, really do need a pay rise because you can't really afford to drink Your much. Wish is my but we've got plenty of wine here, uh, HJ, so you can hook into it. Okay. Are you heading out? Let's go. We're well, going I'd... to Oakwood. And get involved in a fuck, fist fight. <laughs> All right, let's go. You coming? Hey, stalker! Why don't you go? You're gonna move into my place, are you? I like red guard women. I reckon they're hot. Uh, I'm gonna go and get drunk. Hope you're back here. Hope you're still here when we get back. Dead people here. Oh, look at this. That was a huge bar fight last night. Take your venison stew, that's probably fresh out of the mess. Your food. Oh, 
the other side. Heroic. That's a heroic no. All your stuff costs a packet. Good morning. Hello, Shay. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Sotil. Hello. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Yeah, right. It's raining outside. Take a look. Okay, you're going to be able to buy all my um, meat. Only one you've got to give me for that five. Strawberry Crusada. Hmm. How much is this boss one? I'll have um I'll have about three of them. mud crab no. salmon I don't want to see it brother salmon chowder what are you selling it for now 27 and 25 I'm going to have um, 
salmon. Salmon chowders. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down next to the fire and drink. What's that? What's that brandy? Is that where your rooms are? I should have brought me alchemy. Ah, oh, you got a statue of RK. I can sit here and drink. Oh, how cool is that? Mm. That's going to be my favourite spot now since you've got a shrine to RK. Mind if I practice my worship to you? Blessing upon my manservant HJ and myself and our future endeavours. I think I'll stay here and meditate for an hour. Thank you, RK, for your guidance throughout my life and protecting me when I really need protection. This one's a favourite of mine. A legend we all know and love. Oh, our buddy. hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware the dra dragonborn comes. For the darkness hath passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know the dragonborn's come. Yormir, and I'm just the man for the job. Yormir, HJ, what's the difference? It's easier to say HJ than Yormir. We're staying here for a while. So, hang around. Have fun. It's payday, and you got it off, aren't you lucky? I should pay you more money. Sasha, nah. I'm going to sit. Keep an eye on both ears. Thanks to the fire. All right. I'm 
hungry, I haven't had breakfast yet, so what am I going to have for breakfast? Uh, I should have bought some potato. Uh, hang on, I should have got rid of that spoiled junk. I'm going to have some of that salmon chowder. And... Um, and some bread with it. All right then. We drink to our youth, to the days come. And gone, for the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Pretty. We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. As Asmus, uh, as soon as I got to speak to you, you walk away, Asmus. Asma's guy got his eye for himself. So he's been an ass of himself. Need something? Hey. Hey, uh, yeah, what elf? What are you staring at? Uh. Hey. Got any ale or mead? I won't, I'll give you an aisle. The age of aggression oh, is just about done. I 
half a loaf of bread. We'll drive Chunk out the cheese. storm cloaks and restore Seven. what we own. With our blood pain. and our steel, we will take back our uh. home. Down with Mulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Valkyrie's HJ and I can become a Yarl this afternoon. Have a night out in uh, Dead, Man's Tower, Dead Man's Inn or some shit. I right to ride. I might be drunk. I'm wasted. <laughs> No real condition to ride a horse. I don't know what's happening, but it's a pretty quiet Friday night. Where's HJ? strong stuff. Uh, I might have to buy a couple of bottles of hunting brew. Sorry. Careful work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Sotilly. Sotilly. Uh, what do you, uh, I want to buy a couple Let's of... Let's save that appetite, hmm? ...stubbies of uh, hunting brew. Uh, okay, I guess about four of them. I want nine. should buy a six pack, but then you don't give me any cheaper for a six. Good day. Yeah, it seems pretty quiet in here. I might just have a look out the front and see what's happening. No, oh, it's still raining. Bodies are still left in the street. Sorry, Ali. There's nowhere to put you. stuff on you I can sell. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protect I Hello. I know you had some part in Sinding's escape. Don't deny it. 
No, I didn't. He climbed out of the place himself. He turned into a werewolf and climbed out. Oh, well, you also don't. Good I, day. I thought you did. My mistake, I'm drunk. I have to stay here tonight. Can't hear you. I'd stay here, I shouldn't really be riding a horse like this. Oh, this is Friday night at Oakwood. Here for work? I'm telling you, I heard it, howling. Uh. Those werewolf tales are true. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. We've stopped. Right. You're not going to fire me, are you? No, no, no. You'll know, you'll know Sorry, HJ, you're going to have to curl up somewhere. Come. Alright, that's probably where we'll end this episode.